Let's head over to the man who never spoils the magic of cooking, Chef Mark, who is joined by Claire Turnbull. How are you? Very international feel in the kitchen today, isn't it? Yeah, two poms, not bad. I know, and a great recipe from this incredible book, Eat Well, Live Well, from yeah. Diabetes New Zealand. So it's Diabetic Action Month, and you've got three recipes in, but what one are we going to be doing today, Claire? We're going to be making what's called the Nourish Bowl. So it's just a, um, a combination of lots of different vegetables, and you can mix any vegetables that you like in. Um, depending on what's seasonal and we've got some um, beautiful whole grain rice and then mm. we've got a lovely dressing and some seeds to go on top and avocado because avocados are in season nice yeah yeah no it looks fantastic it's gonna be fun mark and i will uh, give you a hand in just a minute we are in the beko kitchen with a very talented claire turnbull and of course mark to create the recipe from the new cookbook from diabetes new zealand it's eat well live well a um, fantastic recipe book 50 recipes claire and it's not just for diabetics this is just good eating for everybody isn't yeah, it yeah it's just lots of plant-based meals lots of quick and easy ideas and the great thing is that the recipes in there are affordable nice because we like um, yeah we need that mm. you know I mean they need to be easy and not complicated okay nice well yeah. Mark's underway already he is, he there's is. a lot to do today explain what we're doing today <laughs> right, uh, that's uh, I've just peeled the carrots good man <laughs> qualified chef <laughs> yeah. here you I'm go and busy yeah. In here. yeah and I suppose the good thing about this recipe as well is um, if you grow all these vegetables as well at home you can just you know you can adapt to them and grow them at home and, and you don't even have to go to the shop and buy them. There you go, yeah, save yeah, money. He's going to carry on chopping. <laughs> okay. Good work. Oh my God. You need to take it out. <laughs> I do it. So people, oh. people look at a whole bowl of vegetables though and they're kind of like, is it going to be tasty? Well, that's the thing. You can make it taste good and all the recipes in the book, as well as this one, with a good dressing, spices, garlic, lemon juice, you know, you can make them all taste fantastic. So what we've got in here is a combination of cooked and raw veg. Now, you nice. could use whatever you like. So mm -hmm. um, because we have got, we've got a little bit of rice that we're going to um, basically cook up some green veggies, whatever green veggies you have. Okay. Um, to make it more interesting and add that extra um, extra goodness, extra fibre in there. So we're using green beans. Um, we've got some spinach and we've got some very beautifully chopped uh, courgette there. <laughs> uh, so we're going we're gonna to cook those up, stir them through the rice. And then we've got... Um, we're going to have our raw grated vegetables and um, a dressing. Well, the good thing with this is it's great for a dinner, right. but also makes a fantastic lunch because one of the areas where people go wrong nutrition wise is that they struggle to actually take themselves a good lunch to work and it's really good to be able to make a dinner that you can repurpose um, and take the next day yeah and the good thing is when you eat well you just you spend your whole day full of beans speaking of which you've got a, yeah I know, I know. what I did there just kind <laughs> of segway, <laughs> segwayed into it <laughs> I know and I'm not I'm not even um clever enough to chop those. Oh, I'll no, do them Mark, Mark, So I've got a question for you now. So I've grated the carrots in here and I'm mm. going to grate the beetroot, but can I um, do mix. it on top of it or do I have to take it out? I think I'll think we can be brave and mix oh, it. Oh, there yeah. you go. Good the, work. The good thing with um, with what we're doing here is using a food processor to cut the um, the carrots and the beetroot is they don't bleed like they would when you, when you hand grate them. So if you want to do bulk vegetable prep, mm -hmm. you need to make sure that you do it in such a way that... Um, when you can put it back in the fridge and it's not going to go soggy. Yeah, true. yeah. Otherwise, so, people just go, "Oh, I'm not touching it." Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Probably still full of nutrition, but yeah. it just doesn't look good. Well, but. it doesn't look good, and it's not. It's not. Oh, you do all that effort and make all that, um, spend all that time, um, and then it, you can't eat it the next day. So by doing it this way, you can actually make sure you've got it the next day. Now this is um, getting a bit warm. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in there. Do I have to do some work too? <laughs> well, why did you get involved with um, diabetes New Zealand? So I moved to New Zealand. 14 years ago, my first job was working for Diabetes New Zealand as a dietitian. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, 15 years you've been doing, you know, qualified nutritionist. Yeah, this might sizzle. Yeah. What have you learned the most about the way food's changed in 15 years? I think that the main things that have come up, the, 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 the message around sugar, we've, we're much more aware of the impact of sugar on our bodies. The messaging around fat has changed. When I first qualified, it was, you know, we're terrified of fat. Now it's really that we need to, to be mindful of the types of fat that we're eating. Right. Um, and I think the other thing is in 15 years, there's all diets come and go, yeah. trends come and go, and people need to be really mindful not to get caught up in the hype of, of, of diets. Right. Because to eat well, you need to, um, oh, you've done that before. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony, no, it's one thing I can do in the kitchen well. <laughs> um, 
is to eat well that we don't need to follow a restricted diet right. where you where you feel like you don't enjoy your food it's just about eating more whole food more plant food and and you know as with all of these recipes a mm. lot more veg nice and mm. we are cooking with a lot of vegetables here it's smelling fantastic we'll come back and show you the next steps to this nourish me bowl from claire in just a few minutes we are finishing off this fantastic recipe it's the nourish me bowl from claire turnbull it's part of the eat well live well diabetes book which is not just for diabetics but it's for the whole family mm. affordable health the good living yep. <laughs> and using lots of good vegetables. So we've just added the spinach and the beans in here. What yes. do we have to do now? All we're going to do is um, I'm going to pop that and mix okay. it into the rice here. So this is a great tip. Um, just You can just add veggies into any rice dish. You've got to bulk up the greens. Why did you use that particular rice? Um, so this is a Better. brown rice and, and quinoa mix. And I like nice. it because it's, it's the, the brown rice is higher in fibre than the white rice. Okay. Um, and the quinoa's got a good way to get a bit of extra protein in there. Good. Um, I know, nice. yes. It's um, tasty too, got that nice nutty flavour. Mm -hmm. So what we'll just do is um, pop some of that into our um, bowl. It smells good already. I know we're only halfway through. Now, when, you know, being a nutritionist, of mm. course, you must think about portion sizes. I do indeed. So with this, you know, you've still got to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's just being aware of what, what look, think about what you're trying to aim for. So okay. um, we want half a plate of those non-starchy vegetables. Mm -hmm. So those vegetables that are... are packed with water um, and vitamins and minerals, so green beans, our courgette spinach, half a plate of that, about a quarter is rice. Okay. Now for a lot of people that's not as much as they would be used to. Um, so what we've done here is we've mixed the veg through the rice to basically um, make it feel like more. And that's a, a good tip because a lot of people when they eat rice, they that's a, you know, the, the majority of their meal and then it's a token bit of broccoli on the end. Right. And a lot, of, a lot of cooking, you know, <laughs> Get, getting things right when it comes um, to your health and well-being is re-proportioning okay, that, that carbohydrate and, and the vegetables. Okay, well, what's Mark up to there? You're making your dressing? You're making a fancy dressing. Oh, i got a fancy dressing, so look at this. This is great, isn't it? I've never used one of these before. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get a bit of bone for the <laughs> restaurant. Pain to clean, but they're very handy. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, so your, your dressing, what have yeah, you used? So garlic in there, we've got yeah. some white wine vinegar, um, Dijon mustard and some honey in there, a little bit of lemon juice as well. Yep. And we'll have to put salt and pepper in. <laughs> you need to put a bit of salt, pepper in. Go wild. Go um. wild. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll put another question no, for no, you no. while we're finishing <laughs> this off. You know, what's the one message that we have failed to learn the most of over the last year? Is there a message that you, you know, that you've learnt that has happened a lot more often than you'd like it to happen? Yeah, I think the thing is, with the rise of social media, it's, it's great because ideas are getting shared and there's lots of good messaging around there, but there's lots of confusion and okay. a lot of the... Um, a lot of messaging around dieting that's not particularly helpful. Um, okay. You know, if people have the, a lot of the before and after photos, the sensational messages, people trying to sell you something off the back of their story, where really they're probably not qualified when it comes to the health and well-being. So my main message is just be careful where you okay. get your information from nice. because you don't want to get sucked down that, um, that hole uh, and basically make yourself... Um, yeah, not healthy by, no. by becoming too obsessive. People, some people have become too obsessive and we don't need to be obsessive to be healthy. No, and this is why this cookbook is a great idea because, mm. it, you know, it's full of great Real chefs. Real food balanced, yeah. Qualified people, eat well, live well, mm. and it smells well too, can I just say. <laughs> um, so we're just about ready to finish this off, aren't we? Yes, yeah, so so we need our beetroot and um, carrot on the other side there to okay. make it look. See, it's oh, nice colourful as well. Yeah, it is. Good. Yeah, and we need, you know, food has to look good, and I think there's that massive misconception that food that is good for you doesn't either look that good or taste that good and all the recipes um, in the book kind of challenge that um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna risk the I think I'm gonna risk <laughs> the, the red hand situation. No, well, we do eat with our eyes and this is gonna look fantastic and we will see the finished product very soon from Eat Well Live Well that incredible book now this recipe and others that are diabetic friendly and tasty for the whole family are available in all good bookshops in that book or of course at diabetes.org.nz with all proceeds going to Diabetes New Zealand. Tomorrow, another chef from the book, Jax Hamilton, will share her recipe. Fantastic, Claire. Thank you so much for no the me bowl from that awesome cookbook. Fantastic. Uh, what are you doing tomorrow, Mark? Right, tomorrow I've got Jax Hamilton on the show and we're going to cook salmon.